the dream I know Deep up my feelings for you Kaduna State House of Assembly has constituted a committee to probe Erufai's administration. Moving on, we have the Embattled Chairman of the Kano State Anti-Corruption and Public Compliant Commission. says that people has been instigating him to probe Abakabri. All right, my people, welcome back to this wonderful channel as we bring you back-to-back -back updates and information. As it is hot, in case it's your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to turn the notification bell so that anytime our news drops, now you will be the first to watch my people miss more matter they happen for this country as they they break that different theory that would they hear but me could not chill with me how could they bring another theory as they come away one after the other now on the news the kaduna state house of assembly has constituted a committee to investigate how the 350 million dollar world bank loan obtained by the former governor that's where a refire administration was spent as well as other financial spending and abandoned projects initiated by the immediate past government between 2015 to 2023. The Speaker of the House of Assembly, Yusuf Liman, inaugurated the 13 man committee during a plenary on Tuesday. The constitution of the committee followed a motion moved by the member representing the Kauri constitution. Mugu Yusuf asked the House to investigate all the loans obtained by Erufai administration. My people don't miss one matter they happen for ya. Yeah. be like saying that all the past government, all the past governor that then thief money, no be smart thing. Now there has been uncomplimentary comments and assassination of a character on the leadership of the state, which the assembly cannot sit and watch. That is why they came up with this motion that the speaker constituted a committee to investigate the allegation and negative comments on them. This is the only way the states can rekindle their confidence in the development partners, collaborators, and also those who gave them loan <laughs> and grants. Failure to do this, they will push the indicators of the states to a situation whereby nobody will want to do business with them. During the debates, the former speaker Yusuf Zalini, during his tenure, was the presiding officer of the house that the Kaduna state government obtained the loan. Went on to deny that the Knight Assembly approved the loan for the executive. He said he suffered a lot in order not to give approval for the loan to be collected, even though then Deputy Speaker Isaac Uta was against him because he disagreed with the loan to be collected. And he told the then governor to look at the number of loans they had on hand and he didn't listen to him. So in their separate submission, the member represented the Jabba constituency, Henry Mara, and his counterpart from the Zagon Kataf constituency, somewhere can buy insisted that the legislature have the duty and constitutional right to give approval before the governor can go ahead to collect loans. But they lamented that the case of Kaduna was different. <laughs> I wish President Bola Betunobu will have the boss to do the same at the national level. Some persons are saying that the certain Kaduna will now use this opportunity to take revenge against Malam Ahmed Erufai. They say they are happy that they are probing Erufai because the same Erufai's son came on social media to open his mouth and talk about Peter Obi. Which Peter Obi was saying that he left over 75 billion for Anambra State before he left the office. That he should go and verify about that. And people not be smart. It's not even up to how many days that Erufai came on social media and was running his mouth about this current administration, about subsidy in a conference in Meduguri. Now the outcome has hit him on the head. <laughs> My people will be the stance now, the masses are happy about it. That they can't just eat the state's weight without probe. <laughs> they can't ask their question how did they spend the money. They said that they should start with the billions he paid as ransom to the headsmen to stop killings in Kaduna, which ultimately led them to more killings and being more daring to demand for payment of loyalties in Kaduna recently. Some are saying that it is not only Kaduna that has loan, that other state has loan. But Kaduna have sent a massive investment structure in Kaduna State and Enfros, the good roads and a lot of more things that Erufai did. And they were all happy during that time. Maybe they will not find any fault in him that he alone can answer all the questions and explain what he did with the money. He didn't steal a cobble in Kaduna State. My question why they asked be this. All the Kaduna State House of Assembly, are they all new members of the House now? Secondly, the majority of them, didn't they serve under the last to tenor of Erufai's government and they okay the loan. <laughs> my people, if they are the same person, my people get as the matter go be. Now, so many persons are saying that 
if not because say a refi review that government is subsidizing for it now that is why they are after him <laughs> so guys i go like we can know it's not think about this what i the conversation i go like care from mona moving on to the next one the embarrassed chairman of the Kano state anti-corruption and public compliance commission muhinu magaji says that he's been instigated by some persons to investigate the current governor of the state abakabri yusuf magaji who said this on channel tv on Tuesday, he said that he started probing the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, Abdullah Ganduje, when he was the governor of the Northwest State. And they are saying that they are not desperate to persecute Ganduje, says the state anti graft chairman, who insisted that public officials should be accountable. When asked whether he would also probe the current governor, Magaji answered that that is what people are instigating. The Kano anti graft chairman, who said that he was being viewed as a stubborn person in some quarters, insisted that the court ruled that money laundry was a federal offense. But the commission has the right to prove alleged corruption and maladministration by the Ganduji's administration. Meanwhile, the Kano High Court who arraigned Ganduji on Wednesday, April 17, 2024, on charges bordering on allegation of bribery, diversion, and misappropriation of funds, including the purported acceptance of $413,000 and $1.38 billion in bribes. Ganduji, who was Kano governor between May 2015 and May 2023, has been under pressure to resign his position as the APC national chairman. So the situation took a new twist on Monday with some APC executive in Ganduji's ward in Kano suspending him. And they insisted that he has narrated himself of corruption charges leveled against him by the state government. However, the state's executive of the party dismissed the suspension and sanctioned the ward official involved. This is why we need to build strong institutions and strong individuals because most of these guys heading anti-corruption agency are whining and dining with the same people they're supposed to investigate. That is why they are being used as tools to winch hot political opponents. This is abnormal. Some are saying that they cannot probe a sitting governor, that he got immunity until he leaves office. <laughs> Gandu J is the master of the game. So, guys, I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions down in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Once again, thank you all so much for staying to us. But if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube page, yet, please do us a favor to like and subscribe and also share. Don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified when we drop our video. Because I'm sure you don't want to miss out the channel latest news happening on social media. To all our amazing subscribers, thank you all so much for staying to us. To all our viewers out there, thank you all so much for staying to us. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. Till I come, your winners. Stay safe, guys. Bye.